Good afternoon. Today I would like to demonstrate to you the mobile application called Streamflix. I hope many of you watch movies online, and one of the popular services in this area is Netflix. We tried to create a similar service for mobile applications. Streamflix is a video portal for watching movies and TV shows, where users can register and create accounts for their family members or for themselves to watch movies and TV shows in their free time. So, this project consists of two applications. The first is the mobile application where you can watch movies. We present the mobile application on the right side in the iPhone 15 Pro Max simulator. The second is the admin panel for managing this business in the web version. To demonstrate both applications, we first need to log into them. I want to say in advance that the admin panel is available in two versions. You can work through the browser and more securely in the desktop version. To switch the admin panel from the browser version to the desktop version, you only need to press one button and it's done. We are now in the desktop version. Let's log in. On the demo preview page, you can find the username and password to log in to the admin panel. After logging in, we land on a special preliminary page where you need to enter your personal username and password as an administrator. If you are the main admin, you will fill out the form on the page. In your case, you need to enter the test username and password. Username, test. Password, the same test. But in my case, to show you all the features of the admin panel, I will log in as the main administrator. After successfully authorizing, we go to the dashboard of the admin panel. Here in the admin panel, the second button from the top is admin. By clicking on it, we go to the administrator page. The next section is the user section. Here, by clicking the edit button, we can view the information of individual users. The next section is the movies section, where in the list you can see all the movies included in the video portal. To better demonstrate the interconnection between the admin panel and the mobile application, let's log into the application and continue getting acquainted with the system. By clicking on the sign in button, we can log in if we have a username and password. In general, there are two options for logging into the application. The first is to register and log in as a registered user, and the second is a quick login with one click anonymously by pressing the Login Anonymous button. I want to say in advance, and we specially place the following text under the button. If you log in anonymously, some features may not work correctly, but you can still explore the app. For a better testing experience, we recommend signing up and then logging in. It's up to you to decide whether to log in anonymously or register. In any case, you can test the application. Let's first log in anonymously and look at some functions. So we land on the page where, before watching movies, we need to create an account for ourselves or for our family members. So let's create an account. To do this, click on the plus in the round button called Add Account, which redirects us to the account creation page. Enter the name of the new account, for example, my family and by clicking on the button, we are redirected back to the start page, where we can already see the new account we created called My Family. And now, by clicking on this button, My Family, we can log in as the owner of this account. As you can see, we can change the profile and have access to the account. And most importantly, a footer appears at the bottom, where we can already go to the application for watching movies by clicking on the main button in the footer, Home. By clicking on this button, we go to the main page of the portal where we can see all the movies or find those we want to watch. At the top are genre selections. By clicking on them, we have a list of genres and we can search by genres. For example, by clicking on the Western genre, we go to the page where films related to Westerns are displayed. To show the interconnection between the admin panel and the application, Let's find this movie, Falcon Trail, in the Admin panel. By clicking on the Edit button in the Admin panel, we go to the page of this movie, where we can edit everything, name, genre, and so on. Let's change the name of the movie and see what happens. Instead of Falcon Trail, let's name the movie Alcon Trail and save it. As you can see, after saving, the new name is instantly reflected in the application. With this, we want to demonstrate the interconnection between the admin panel and the application. Let's return the correct name of the movie back.
We can also assign this movie a new genre, for example, historical. If we go to the historical genre, we will see that this movie is listed in the movies related to this genre. If we delete the genre from this movie in the admin panel, you can see that the movie instantly disappears from the list. For example, in the anime category, there's only one movie. If we add this movie to this genre, as you can see, it appears in the list. If we remove it, it again drops out of the list. That is, I wanted to demonstrate to you the instant interconnection between the admin panel and the application. We can also form our own list of favorite movies by adding it to my list. It is very easy to do. You can add to my list by pressing the button and the movie appears in your list. If you no longer like it, you can also remove it from your list. We can also find the movie we are interested in on the search page. Enter the name of the movie and it appears. If we want to watch the movie, we click on the view button and it goes to the page where we can watch the movie both in vertical and horizontal positions. Now I would like to explain how the system works. Every new user has a free plan. What is included in the free plan? Watching only three movies a month. If you want more, you need to pay for a membership and buy a plan. Now I will demonstrate to you what happens if you run out of a viewing limit. Let's log in to my personal account. After logging in, you see that I have several accounts for my family members. Let's log in with my account, and if, for example, I want to watch a movie, you can see that in red text it says, Your current watching plan has expired. Click here to renew. This means that my free plan or old plan has expired, and without renewing it, I will not be able to watch movies. To watch movies, I need to renew my plan and pay for a membership. To do this, we click on the red text and go to the watching plan page, where we can renew our plan by paying with a credit card. When testing, you can also see how it works. You can enter the test card number. It is six times the number 42, and in the expiration date field, enter any future date, for example, November 2028, and any three-digit number in the last field. And most importantly, if you want the payment to be successful, specify the region, the country, where you are currently located. If you specify incorrectly, the payment will not be successful. I am currently in Georgia and specify my country of location. And as you can see, the payment was successful. Now, by going to the application, I can watch movies. Because instead of the red warning text, there is already an active view button by clicking on which I can watch movies. Introducing Glitch Transitions, an effects library for Premiere Pro. If you look in the admin panel, you can see that new orders have appeared purchased by me. You can click on edit and enter to see the invoice for this order.
There are many possibilities in the admin panel. You can add and delete, for example, genres, and this will instantly be reflected in the application. For example, let's enter a new genre called Abracadabra. As you can see, it instantly appears in the list of genres in the application. If you delete it from the admin panel from the list, it instantly disappears from the application as well. There is also the ability to view and edit in the admin panel, for example, to enter a new movie. By clicking on the button, you go to the page where you can enter information about the new movie, title, pictures, and so on. The same can be done with users. For example, in the user section, we see that a new user appeared. That's me when I logged in anonymously. We can delete this user since he is not needed because anonymous users are one-time users who will not be able to log in with this account in the future, and they are not needed. Actually, when you launch your portal, anonymous users are not needed. I made this specifically for viewing. Regarding the package, it is not included. And anonymously, no one can enter your portal. As I said, this is only for the demo version so that customers can enter easily, as customers do not like to spend time on registration and all that. To facilitate viewing and testing the application, I specifically made an anonymous login button in the demo version. As you can see, admins have their own access controls, which you can manage as the main manager giving access to sub-admins or other admins as you wish. So, this is what I could demonstrate to you about how the system of our project works. You can log into the system yourself and test and see how everything works. We wish you success. Thank you for watching.